Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm doing a 24 hour social media detox. I struggled with what to film this week because I feel like it's such a heavy week for everyone. And I have been on social media way too much arguing. <laughs> I wouldn't say arguing, but having discourse with people a lot. And it's just been really hard for me to see um, some friends and family say some of the things that they're saying. Uh, and I'm just not filling my heart with the right things being on social media right now. So I've decided to take a detox day and I thought that I would film it and encourage you guys to take a social media detox day because these times are scary, they're stressful, they're filled with a lot of anxiety. So I think this is one way we can curb that anxiety. <laughs> I'm trying to convince Kyle to do it with me. He says he doesn't know, um, but the only time I'm getting on social media today is for my job. I do have to like <laughs> keep up with the news and po do social media posts and stuff for my job. So I think how I'm gonna do that is like I literally only get on social media when I have to post something. And when I'm on there, I don't look at anything else. I don't scroll, I don't look at my notifications. Like I don't do any of that. Um, just to take the day to just let my mind reset. I just feel like I have so much trouble sleeping, so much trouble focusing because I'm just being so obsessive on checking social media, seeing what people are saying, seeing what's going on, and that's just not healthy. So I am going to take the day to hit a hard reset in my brain. It's 6.45 a.m. right now, I'm very sleepy. I need to get some breakfast before work and um, do my morning routine before work. So um, I'm gonna figure that out right now, but I just wanted to enter this video and tell you guys that I am doing a social media detox. In fact, I think what I'm really gonna do is lock my apps on my phone because I really only need to post to Twitter and Facebook for work and I can do that on my laptop. So I think I'm gonna lock my phone just so um, I don't even get tempted. So I'm gonna do that and I hope you guys join me. Okay, I got, ooh, the lighting's bad. I got breakfast, acai bowl. Come show them how big yours is. <laughs> Massive. It's bigger than the head. <laughs> I feel like I already get the urge to just wanna like check my phone, like check Instagram, check Twitter. When I was walking to myself to the car, I wanted to check it. When I was waiting for the food, I wanted to check it. Like, it's so bad how addicted. Like, it makes me feel really anxious and crappy, but I'm still so addicted to getting on it. Just been working a lot on learning how to be like the master of my own mind, I guess. And like meditating a lot and reading the Bible a lot and like a bunch of books on how you kind of like master your mind and your emotions. And I think not being addicted to social media is a part of that. I don't know if you guys know, but if you go to your settings, hey, and you go to screen time, you can't really see, but there's app limits on there and you can set limits for all your apps. So I set all my social media apps for one minute. So it's already gone this morning. When I first woke up, I got on social media and was making myself super anxious and felt the need to, I don't know. Anyways, what? Yeah, so I already used that one minute this morning, so they are locked. Um, and I also hate that too. Like I hate that the first thing that I do in the morning is check my phone. I think we should get like an alarm clock, like a real old school alarm clock and charge our phones like not in the room. We do, we wake up and we sit on our phones for like 20 minutes. We don't even talk to each other. Are you doing a nice kiss in the morning? Yeah, and then you roll over and sit on your phone. Yeah. All right, I will update you guys as the day goes on. Just wanted to pop in because I just did my reading for this morning. Um, I am actually reading the Bible from front to back, although I know that the way that the Bible is ordered like in the book isn't the chronological way it was written, if that makes sense. Like it's not in complete order. Um, but I know regardless Genesis is first and then after I finish getting through Genesis I'm gonna look up like the right order like the order in which it was actually written. So I'm in Genesis right now, but I just wanted to 
hop on here and kind of talk about um, what I read this morning because I thought it, it kind of brought me a lot of peace, especially now. Um, so basically, um, I am, am in Genesis 26. Um, specifically was reading through verses 17 all the way till the end of the chapter. The Lord appeared to um, Isaac and said, I am God, I am the God of Abraham, your father, fear not for I am with you. I have this really awesome app that I highly suggest, it's called Endure. Um, I have a commentary Bible too, but I really like the Endure app <laughs> because then I don't have to bring both because my commentary Bible is also huge but it's a really awesome app that will go verse by verse it's like a commentary bible and will give you context and insight and like just really good things to think about while you're reading and something that it said was that in this moment when god was telling isaac not to be afraid he had every reason to be afraid because there was this atmosphere of great contention between um isaac's herd people and the philistines 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 i don't know how you say it but there like was really great contention between them and isaac had every reason to be afraid and god still told him do not be afraid because i am with you it's really like that like because i feel like how relevant is that to now you know what i mean like i feel like all of us have every reason to feel the way that we feel every reason to be anxious every reason to be fearful but god is telling us like i'm with you like i am your god and you don't don't need to be afraid and it just gave me that perspective like yeah the things that i fear here on earth aren't things that god fears and that brings me so much peace just to realize that our earthly fears aren't his heavenly fears and to kind of like rest in peace with that i don't know if any of that is making sense but it just brought me like so much peace this morning and honestly people can say whatever they want about me my opinions my views and what i believe but i know that the things in my heart i root in truth and god knows my heart and he knows where my heart is coming from so it really doesn't matter what anyone else on this earth <laughs> thinks about me like it just doesn't matter the only opinion that matters is god i'm not gonna let people of this world tell me who i am because they don't have the authority to do that. <laughs> that. I'm going to probably not be on here until work is over. Maybe I'll check in when I take a break for lunch. But it is time for me to dig into work <laughs> um, and to get to work. So I will see you guys when work is over and I will check in and let you know how my day went without social media during my work day. What's up guys? Just checking I'm back with you a little later. I'm done with work. It is now 5.30. Um, tell me why I did not know that Degrassi is on YouTube and you can go back and literally watch all the seasons of Degrassi on YouTube. I did not know that. I did not know that Degrassi was readily available on YouTube. I watched that show growing up as a kid so much and I was always so upset that I could never like really watch it anywhere. Like it wasn't on Netflix or anything like that. But um, it's on YouTube for free. You can watch it. And um, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm gonna rewatch Degrassi. I bet some of you don't even know what Degrassi is and that's so crazy to me. Like I'm officially like reaching that age where the kids, the 2000 kids, like don't even know what I'm talking about and that is very crazy to me. But basically, if you're a 90s baby, you know what Degrassi is, we're here. And just so you know, it is on YouTube if you would like to binge and rewatch it because that's currently what I'm doing right now. Um, I would just like to give you an update too. I've had so many urges to, text, to check social media today. Um, and I realized how much out of like habit I just reach for my phone just to go to those apps and um, that's kind of like I just you don't realize how much you do it until you try to make yourself not do it but honestly my heart posture and my headspace have been a thousand times better today like I showed up to my job better I showed up to my man like I just showed up to everything better because I was better and my headspace was better it's technically 24 hours that's like 7 a.m. tomorrow morning so I'll check back in with you guys more but this that is just my check-in at the end of the day for you guys on where I'm at and how I am feeling Good morning guys, it is the next morning. It is 7, 7, it's 6.30 a.m. So I have about 30 more minutes 
um, of this cleanse, but I just want to hop in here, <laughs> struggling this morning, and say that I 10 out of 10 recommend this. It's been so good for my mental health, and even waking up this morning, the first thing I did obviously was grab my phone to turn off my alarm, and I went to like automatically get on all social media and go through all these things and something that I also did that I highly recommend you do and that I'm going to keep doing um, is that you can set certain hours where everything on your phone other than your calls and messages are locked. Um, it, to, it kind of encourages you not to be on your phone. So I did that between 5.30 to 7.30 because I'm up that early and 7.30 is when I like to get started with work. So, um, and I use my phone to like check the news and stuff like that. Uh, so I set it between those times and I have to say, I'm like shocked by how much I go to look at my phone and like try to spend these morning hours just scrolling through social media, making myself automatically like upset for the rest of the day. I think I'm just gonna end the video here. I hope that this encouraged some of you guys um, to maybe take a break from your phone or if it's not your phone take a break from the things that have been making you super anxious Maybe that's watching the news Yeah, that's this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it I hope you have a fantastic weekend or rest of your week whenever you're watching this and uh, I love you guys and I will see you in my next video